Hi everybody, this is Rachel from the Portage District Library. I hope you're all doing well this week and staying happy and healthy. So I'm really excited to talk about this next resource guide that the library has for you, and it is about time capsules. I'm really excited about this because this is something that you and your family can sit down and do together, and it's going to be really unique to you guys and what story you all want to tell. Uh, before we get started though, uh, when you usually think about time capsules, it's something that you bury in your yard and you dig up a couple of years later. Uh, if you want to bury your own time capsule, go right ahead. This resource guide is going to focus more on stuff that you have around your house and can keep inside your house as opposed to burying it outside. Um, but if you want to get a nice fancy schmancy time capsule, um, you can totally buy those online and then bury them in your own yards. Um, but this resource guide is going to focus more on stuff that you have around your house. So let's get going. For this, you really don't need a lot of items um, other than the items you're going to put in your time capsule. You're really just going to need a nice big cardboard box, a shoe box, uh, or a glass jar. And then if you have a box without a lid, some tape to keep it uh, shut. But other than that, you don't need a whole lot of material. This is what I had lying around my house. I had a really old shoe box and a mason jar. Now these are really good for holding physical material, but because we live in a digital age, um, there are apps for just about everything these days, and there are time capsule apps out there as well. So these are some apps that we've got that can save your photos, videos that you're taking, and events, stuff like that. I'm going to also point out the Facebook memories function. Uh, that is not an app that is through the Facebook app itself. But keep in mind the stuff that you're posting today because that can pop up in your Facebook memories a year from now. And you can remember and say, oh yeah, that happened that day. So don't forget about that as a nice resource. as like a little mini time capsule right in uh, your Facebook app anyway. Um, but all of these other apps are really cool because not only can you share them with yourself at a later date, you can set the date and time. You can also share them with friends and family as well. So that's what's really cool about these and they are all free so the activity once you decide how big your time capsule should be either with the glass jar or with a cardboard box go ahead and gather material that you and your family want to put in the time capsule uh, we have a pdf guide in the comments below of different prompts that you guys can do to put in your time capsule and we also have a list in the next slide of all the things that you can do to get started and different ideas on what you can put in there. So once you put all the material in your time capsule, make sure everything is dry, labeled, and dated. Um, really make sure it's dry because you don't want to open up your time capsule a year or a couple of years down the road and see that everything got ruined because it was full of moisture. So just be really careful about that. There is a tips and tricks thing in the PDF about putting those little silica bags that maybe you have in a brand new pair of shoes. You can throw those in a box, throw those in your glass jar, and those should help keep everything nice and dry. So check out the tips and tricks. What's super cool, and this is what I'm really excited about, is decorating your time capsule. Show us how you're decorating your time capsule with your, with your family. Get out that glitter, hot glue gun, cardboard, uh, construction paper, get it all out, decorate, decorate it to your little heart's content. Uh, but then also the day that you guys close it, be sure to date it and label it. Um, otherwise, it's going to be harder to remind yourself, what was the day that we said we were going to open this? Uh, it's going to make things a lot easier. So be sure to date and label all the things in and outside your time capsule. And what's cool is you can schedule an opening ceremony. You can schedule it a year, two years, 10 years down the road and check out the time capsule and open it up and look at all the things inside and it'll be a really fun thing to do. So be sure and schedule that with your family and friends. That will be a lot of fun. So here are a few ideas that uh, we were thinking of just to get you started for your own time capsule, but if there's something way more important that you want to put in yours, go right ahead. If there's something on here that 
you don't care too much about, that's okay too. Uh, so there's DIY face mask instructions. Obviously we want you to wear your face mask, so don't put one in your time capsule because you just might need it. We also talked about things being digital. So if you are taking lots of photos, videos, uh, etc., things like that, save them all on a USB stick and stick the USB stick in your time capsule. That'll be a lot easier than trying to print out all your photos. Save those restaurant menus and then maybe circle the meals that you and your family are having from those restaurants. It'll be fun down the road to say, oh yeah, that meal, I had that. That was really good. Kept us going through the quarantine. A list of TV shows or movies and then also books. So when you open up your time capsule a couple years down the road, you're going to wonder, why on earth do I have all these Tiger King things in here? Well, that'll be a sign of the times and let you know what kept you entertained during the quarantine. Uh, a letter to your future self. So we've included in the PDF guide a uh, format that you can write a letter to your future self. You can include um, how you're feeling right now, maybe a goal that you have in the future. Uh, so write that all on down and then you can read it and open it later on and that'll be a fun little treat in there for you. A diary or a journal. If you have one that you're willing uh, to spare to put in, put inside your time capsule if it's big enough, go right ahead and do that. If not, if you keep a diary separate, that's totally fine too. The recipes you've tried. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of my friends and family are baking to beat the band. Uh, so including those recipes would be pretty fun to see if the recipe turned out, if it turned out like the picture. Mine never ever do, but that's okay. It doesn't mean they don't taste as good. Newspaper clippings. Um, if you don't get a physical newspaper these days, that's fine. You can save them digitally as well, and you can load those up on your USB stick uh, when you're uploading all your photos and videos. I thought that this one was pretty fun, including gas receipts. Yeah, we're going to look back later on and look at how uh, inexpensive gas was and think, oh, wow, yeah, gas is pretty cheap right now. So I think that'll be a good chuckle. And then a toilet paper roll. Not the actual uh, toilet paper, but the roll that's left behind might be fun to put in there as a sign of the times of what people were uh, purchasing during uh, their time in quarantine. So where to store your time capsule? Again, if you want to bury it outside, go right ahead. You do have to worry about the elements that we talked about earlier. Um, but if you're going to keep it in your house, a nice dry, cool place and then avoid direct sunlight. So closets, cabinets, a garage, a basement, uh, or wherever you have space in your house to store your time capsule to open at a later date. Alrighty. Uh, we do have a few things available on Hoopla and Overdrive. Uh, we included a couple things related to time, uh, both future and uh, past time, uh, as well as resources about time capsules themselves and diaries. So those are things you can access digitally on Hoopla and Overdrive. And additional resources, collecting your story and why it matters. So history is very important and People might not realize the things that they do in their everyday life could end up in a history book, but it could. So things that we know happened in the past happened because somebody took the time to write it down, to save that newspaper clipping, to save that article of clothing. So we know uh, what happened in the past because people decided to preserve items that they were using at the time. So these are some additional resources you can use at home uh, for different things that you could collect, you can put in your time capsule, and why. So we want to hear your story. Your story is important, and it's going to be important later on down the road. You just might not know that yet. So start recording things now. We've included some interview questions in the PDF uh, in the link in the description. So be sure and check that out. And then these are also different links to resources to help you figure out what you want to talk about and what type of story you want to tell. So those are uh, in the description as well in the PDF guide. All right, friends, that's pretty much all I have to say. Now I'm super excited to see what you guys are going to put in your time capsules. If you're willing to share with us what you're going to put in there, please do. We would love to see it. 
we would love to see how you're decorating your time capsule as well. So please share that with us. We want to hear from you. We want to see what you guys feel is important and what story you all want to tell. So I'll turn that over to you guys and I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I will see you soon. Bye.